This is a Confirmer Knowledge Bank film, helping our customers get the best from our products. Welcome to Confirmer WebPay. This presentation is designed to demonstrate the option of creating a virtual card using FastCard functionality. FastCard functionality needs to be enabled by Confirmer. If you wish to use this option, please ask your administrator to contact us. FastCard is a new feature that will allow you to quickly create a deployment without first having to provide all of the expected mandatory data. We have brought FastCard to you as we have seen an upsurge in air deployments and know that you may not have all required data at the time of deployment. You can then amend deployments to enter the mandatory data when you get hold of it. Please note, you will only be able to deploy one fast card at a time. This means that you will have to complete your previous deployment data before being able to deploy another fast card. Fast card is a configurable feature at card pool level and can only be activated by confirmer. If you wish to request this functionality to be enabled, you can contact the confirmer support team directly. From the home screen, First, check the Fast Card Enabled box and click New Deployment. Please note that this feature will remain enabled for the remainder of the user session until manually disabled. To create a Fast Card Air Deployment, click New Deployment. If you have a multi type account, select Air from the drop down provided. You will now see the New Deployment screen. Here you can see that this is a stripped-down version of the usual New Deployment screen. The fields marked with an asterisk are mandatory. Select the card pool. Enter the charge amount and the charge dates. Choose the relevant supplier from the drop-down list. Now select Get Card to create your new virtual fast card. You will now be presented with a successful deployment summary. Please note that when reviewing a deployment in fast card mode, it will not be possible to cancel. The virtual card is now ready to use and can be provided to the supplier for payment. Remember that you will need to complete the full deployment data before being able to deploy another fast card. When viewing the My Deployment screen or Deployment Search results, a deployment that has been created in fast card mode will be highlighted so that it can be found easily amongst other deployments. Note here that fast card deployments will only be highlighted whilst they remain in fast card mode. Once the deployment has been amended and all deployment data completed, they will no longer be distinguishable from a normal deployment. The amendment process for a deployment created in fast card is the same as that of a standard virtual card deployment. First, select the deployment that you wish to amend and choose Amend Deployment. Here you will need to complete the full mandatory data for the air deployment. Complete the traveller name. Enter the flight data. Remember to input the custom data values. Completion of this data will ensure that the information provided will be available in the SNAP Reconciliation and Reporting tool. Once all of the mandatory fields have been fulfilled, select Commit Amendment. At card pool level, it is also possible to configure the system to only allow a single fast card deployment to be active per user at any one time. Therefore, it will not be possible for a user to create any new deployments until they have completed the data for their active fast card deployment. To activate this feature, contact the Confirmer support team. Don't forget, if you need any help with WebPay or SNAP, use the Help Desk icon on the top bar. It will take you straight through to our Help Desk, where you'll find help on all kinds of topics, product updates, frequently asked questions and much more.
Remember the Confirmer Help Desk should always be your first destination for any product issues. 